Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, today's video is going to be kind of quick. Um, I was given this crab apple tree for my father for our wedding gift that uh, for our wedding two weeks ago. And I figured I'd just do a quick video on planting it, uh, how easy it's going to be with the tomahawk stump bucket here, and uh, just a couple quick tips and tricks for planting trees. All right, so the first and probably the most obvious step is uh, trying to figure out where you're going to plant the tree. Um, our yard's pretty open. I kind of like that our yard is pretty open, but we do have kind of a little bit of vacant room over here. Uh, it's a little ways away from the house, but uh, it's a nice strip that will be easy to mow around. And uh, eventually, that dead tree's coming down anyways. So, um, I'm going to give it a shot right here. So, we're going to start uh, hop on the tractor and start digging our hole. Um, now, when you dig your hole, um, you want to leave the hole not crazy deep. Um, you actually want to make sure that the tree, the the potting soil or whatever here that's in with the tree you actually want it about an inch above the ground so you've got room to build your moss up over top of all of it
All right, so next up, I'm going to uh, drop the tree in place here and see how our holes look in depth-wise. Now, I didn't really plan on it becoming this wide, um, but I pulled out this rock that is uh, three and a half feet long by two foot or so wide, maybe four foot long, two foot wide. Um, so as you can see, we have pretty rocky soil here. So unfortunately, it ended up a little larger than it needed to be, but let's uh, drop the tree in and we'll test her out. All right, it actually looks like we've maybe gone a little bit deeper than I needed to go. So I'm going to uh, just kick some of the soil in from the sides here, and which has actually worked out good because it looks like we might be getting down to bedrock actually here. So I'm gonna get the tree out and Get that next step done. That looks good. That looks like we're about uh, just a little bit above soil level. So now I'm going to take some of the big rocks and go dump them in the woods. And then uh, we'll backfill everything in and get this, uh, get the stakes in the ground and finish it up. <laughs> So now that we've got it uh, all backfilled here, um, now obviously you're going to have a little bit of leftover dirt because you dug a hole and you replaced it with the whole root ball of the tree. But uh, fortunately in my case, I'm not doing too bad with the leftover dirt because I think because I had so many rocks. Um, so I'm going to just get this leveled up here pretty good. And then we will crack open the bag of mulch and uh, start uh, getting our mulch bed down. that sweet Saturn view in the distance that uh, hasn't had an exhaust on it in about three years. All right, now let's crack open some mulch. All right, so now for the next step, we have our uh, wooden stakes here that we're gonna get drove into the ground the string to help tie the tree up, keep it supported. And then uh, last steps, 
we'll uh, get the mulch bed done. And then our weep bucket. Um, this came with the tree. It's just a five gallon pail with a couple holes punched in the bottom of it so that it uh, you know, slowly weep water out of it and doesn't overwater the tree. And uh, then we'll be all set. Try to space these out somewhat equally here. Now, obviously a sledgehammer would be a touch more ideal, but uh, unfortunately all I have right now is the back of this axe head. some string here. so obviously we got our string on now um now i i pulled the strings reasonably tight just because going into winter time here we uh we do get some decent wind sometimes but uh you don't want to tie your loops around the trunk very tight as you can see like right here right we've got some slack on stuff and the reason for that is obviously as the tree grows it's going to get larger and uh you don't want to cut off the um flow of nutrients or whatever through the tree all right so for our next part um, I'm gonna start dumping all this mulch out and they say what you want to do is you want to make kind of like a volcano shape almost so it's like dips down on the inside um, you know I, I'm assuming it's so the water actually helps run towards the base so let's get at it And we're just going to smooth it out a little bit so it's somewhat aesthetically pleasing. Okay. Now, our last step is going to be uh, tying our wheat bucket on and uh, get some water in it, and we'll be all done. Now, Probably can't see on camera. Oh, no, you can, a little bit. Got these two tiny little holes right here. And uh, like I said, they're just meant so that the water can slowly weep out of the bucket a little bit instead of drowning the tree with five gallons of water at a time. So we're gonna tie those on so our two holes are facing the tree. And, uh, you know, so it's hung this way. And then uh, we'll go get some water and fill this thing up.
And again, I'm leaving that kind of loose just so that, uh, you know, the tree has room to grow. And we'll cut our excess, <clears throat> our excess baling twine off here. And now we'll, uh, we'll go grab some water. Now you could argue that this is an excessive way to water the tree, and I would probably agree with you. But when you've already got the setup for uh, feeding the pressure washer off the tailgate of your truck, when we go motocross racing, why not use it? Turn my spigot on, water the tree. And it fits perfectly in that stump bucket, by the way, too. Look at that. So like I said, excessive? Yep, probably. Waste of time? Absolutely not. And, and yeah, it, it probably would be easier to just do this with a five gallon pail. But uh, that means I would have to walk 250 feet with a five gallon pail, which isn't so bad. Uh, but I don't currently have any that don't have used oil in them. And I'm not gonna do that to the tree, so. This works perfectly. Now look at that. Done in no time. Well, hopefully you learned something today uh, about uh, planting a tree and how easily it can be done with a stump bucket on your tractor. Um, you know, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on the channel. Uh, the subscribers have definitely helped a lot lately. Um, if you guys have anything else you want to see, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks again, and uh, I'll hopefully see you next week.